Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about simplify the Boolean expressions using Boolean algebra laws. In the previous videos, we have already solved four example problems on the same topic. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Develop Srinivas Rao. Now, in this video, we have to solve two more example problems on the same topic. The first one is a bar into a plus b plus b plus a into a into a plus b bar. Okay. First, we observe this one. Apply the distributive law here. So, a bar into a is nothing but a bar a plus a bar into b is nothing but a bar b plus b plus a into a into a plus b bar. Here, we have to apply the distributive law. So, what is the distributive law? So, a bar into a plus b. So, after applying the distributive law, we are getting a bar into a is nothing but a bar a plus a bar into b, we are getting a bar b. Okay. Now, we already know that a into a is equal to a. Okay. So, now, Another formula is a bar into a is equal to a into a bar is equal to 0. Okay. We are already know these two formulas. After applying these two formulas on this step, we are getting so 0 plus a bar b plus b plus a into a plus b bar. Okay. So, a bar into a, according to this formula, we are substituting 0. a into a, according to this formula, we are getting a. So, 0 plus something is nothing but uh, a bar b plus b plus a next into a plus b bar. Okay. Next step. Now we are multiplying these two terms. Okay. A bar B plus B is multiplied with each and every term in this parenthesis. B into A is nothing but B A plus B into B bar is nothing but B into B bar plus A into A is nothing but A A plus a into b bar is nothing but a b bar. Okay. So, here we already know that b into b bar, b into b bar is equal to 0. Next one, a into a is equal to a. After, after substituting these two formulas in this step, we are getting a bar b plus b a b into b bar we are substituting 0 plus a into a is a plus a b bar. Okay. Next 0 plus something is nothing but something. So a bar b plus b a plus a plus a b bar. Okay. Next. From these two terms, from these two terms, separate b. After separating b from these first two terms, we are getting a bar plus a. Okay. From these two terms, we are separating a. So, 1 plus b bar. Okay. So, here we already know that a bar plus a is equal to a plus a bar 
is equal to 1. Next, another formula. 1 plus b bar. 1 plus something is equal to 1. Okay. According to these two formulas, we are getting b into 1 plus a into 1. So, b into 1 is nothing but b. a into 1 is nothing but a. So, b plus a. So, finally, we are getting a plus b. a plus b is the answer after simplification of this Boolean expression. Okay. Next. Next, we can go for another example problem. So, simplify the following Boolean expression. a bar bc plus a into b bar c bar plus a bar b bar c bar plus a into b bar c. Okay. Now, first I am taking this term and this term, put them into one place. So, a bar b c. Now, I am taking this term first, a b c. After that, the remaining terms are a b bar c bar plus a b bar c bar plus a b bar c. Okay. In this step, this term I am writing here. Okay. First this term, after that I am writing this term. The remaining terms are as it is. Next, from these two terms, we are separating bc because bc is there in the first term and the second term. We have to separate bc from these first two terms. So, after separating bc, from the first two terms, we are getting a bar plus a. Next, from these two terms, we are separating b bar c bar. So, b bar c bar. After separating b bar c bar, we are getting a plus a bar. Next, a b bar c. Okay, we already know that a bar plus a is equal to a plus a bar is equal to 1. Okay. So, according to this formula, we are substituting 1 in the place of a bar plus a and a plus a bar. So, bc into 1 plus b bar c bar into 1 plus a b bar c. Okay. So, bc into 1 is nothing but bc plus b bar c bar. Next, a b bar c. a b bar c. So, after that, we are separating b bar from these two terms. Okay. Here b bar is there. Here b bar is there. We are separating b bar. After separating b bar, we are getting c bar plus c, c bar plus ac, c bar plus ac. Okay. Now, I am writing bc plus b bar into, this can be written as c bar plus c into a. Okay. We already know that the absorption formula is x plus x bar y is equal to x plus y. So, according to this formula, okay, so this is x and this is x bar and this is y. x plus x bar y. In the place of x, c bar is there. x bar is nothing but c bar whole bar. c bar whole bar is nothing but c. In the place of y, a is there. So, x plus x bar y is equal to x plus y. So, according to that, we can write bc plus b bar into, in the place of x, c bar is there. In the place of y, a is there. So, c bar plus a. This is absorption law. According to that, so bc plus b bar c bar, here we are applying the distributula. B bar into C bar is nothing but B bar C bar plus 
b bar into a is nothing but b bar a okay next one so bc plus b bar c bar plus a into b bar so now this is the minimized form we are getting after simplifying this boolean expression and uh, one more step is also we are writing bc plus here we are common b bar separate b bar after separating b bar we are getting c bar plus a okay so this is the minimized expression we are getting after simplifying this boolean expression so absorption law is a very very important so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so develop srinivas rao if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment box I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.